In the previous video, we looked at how dynamometers work to help generate a torque and power curve. In this video, we will take a closer look at some different types of dynamometers. The three most popular types of engine dynamometers are water brake dynos, eddy current dynos, and AC dynos. These dynamometers are classified by types of absorption units they use. It's important to note that all dynos dissipate energy, but the different types of dynos basically describe how they dissipate this energy. Just like in engines, the torque characteristics are different for each dyno, and what each one can do is a little bit different. This means that the torque curve for each dyno will be different. The type of application you are using will determine which one is most appropriate. We will take a look at some of the pros and cons of each of these different type of dynos next. First up, we have the eddy current dynamometer. This is one of the most common dynamometers. The way the eddy current dyno works is it has electromagnets that are used to generate a magnetic field in the stator, which is essentially the housing or any part that isn't moving. In the eddy current dyno, when you pass a coil through a changing magnetic field, this generates a current or load. Some of the pros of the eddy current dyno are that they have pretty good controllability, they are very durable, they are relatively affordable at around $50,000 depending on the size, and they have good dynamic response. The largest con about the eddy current dyno is that they have very high inertia, which can have a negative impact on their dynamic response. As a reminder, inertia is the resistance of physical objects to any change in motion, including the speed and direction. Next, we will discuss a little bit about the water brake dynamometers. They work by using a turbine or propeller in an enclosure to generate load using the force of water. Some of the pros of the water brake dynos are that they are very affordable and very durable. In fact, water brake dynos are one of the least expensive engine dynos out there. The main downfall to the water brake dyno is that their dynamic control is not as good as the other types of dynos. Water brake dynos work better for high loads that are consistent and not changing. Last, let's talk a little about AC or alternating current dynamometers. AC dynos apply a load by generating electricity. This electricity is then dissipated as heat over a resistor bank, or it can even be put back on the grid. Some of the pros of the AC dynos are that they have very good dynamic response. They can also spin them themselves since they are a generator and a motor. The biggest issue with the AC dynos are that they are very expensive. In the next video, we will take a look at how these dynamometers can help generate torque curves.